everyone, I hope you're well. I know it's been a while since I've made a video on this channel, sorry about that. I did talk a little bit about why I've been gone over on my main channel, but today I wanted to talk to you about my travel makeup bag. And I've actually been away quite a few times over the last couple of months. Uh, you all know this, I went to Belgium quite recently because I was talking about it a lot before the trip. And I've also had a couple of nights where I've just stayed at a friend's house or my boyfriend's house. And during that time, through a lot of trial and error, I've kind of narrowed down just a few bits and pieces that I absolutely have to take with me. Just FYI, this wasn't the makeup bag I took to Belgium because you have to have your liquids in a separate little resealable bag. But this is just one that I've been using recently. It's from Superdrug. I'll leave the link to it in the description box below. I'm also going to be doing a blog post today when this video goes up. I'll leave the link to that in the description box as well. But I'm basically going to be doing a blog post with a few other travel essentials that aren't makeup. So if you're interested in that, there'll be a link in the description. So the first product I packed every time I went away was the PS Instagirl Primer Perfecting Stick. And as you can see, I completely managed to use this up. There's only like this little nub of product left on there now. Makeup on the go isn't a very enjoyable process for me. The only time I really love to put on makeup is when I am sat at my own dressing table in this room. When I'm away, I tend to prefer things that are just quick and get the job done. I found that this was really nice on top of my SPF because my SPF was quite creamy, quite moisturising. So this was kind of matte on top of that and that just seemed to work quite nicely. Now that it's used up though and it's got a little bit cooler, I've been reaching for something else. This is the Spackle Hydrating Primer from Laura Geller. Usually I only buy drugstore products, obviously this is not one of them, but I was actually sent this by Feel Unique. They recently had a top vlogger competition and I made it to the final 30. And this was in the little PR package that they sent me when they wanted me to make a video for them in the competition. I'll leave the link to that below if you're at all interested. Uh, but this was one of the products that they sent that I have been using quite a lot ever since I reviewed it for them in that video. So yeah, I really like this. For foundation, I'm still wearing the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour foundation quite a lot. My shade is 015 Porcelain, which is actually far too dark for me but it does kind of work-ish in the summer because I don't apply this all over my face. When I'm traveling, I tend to go for minimal product. So what I do is I just take about half a pump of this on the back of my hand and then I just use a Real Techniques setting brush and I just kind of buff it into the really pigmented areas of my skin. So wherever there's any redness, discoloration, and that tends to do a pretty good job by itself because this is quite full coverage and it doesn't feel really kind of heavy when it's quite humid outside as well. So still liking this at the moment. As soon as it gets really cold though, I probably won't use this anymore. Since I started wearing less foundation, I've actually been getting on a lot better with cream products. So things like cream contour and cream blush. So the cream contour I use is from L'Oreal. This is their infallible sculpt. As you can see, it's got a light highlighty shade there and then it's got a darker shade to contour with. I never used a highlight one. I don't really understand what it's for, but I do use the contour shade a lot. And I find that when I'm not wearing a lot of foundation, I really like how this looks. When I am wearing a fuller face of makeup, I cannot get on with cream products at all. But when I was on holiday, I really liked using this. I would just put it in the cheekbones, on the top of my forehead, and just buff it down my neck as well, just to make everything look a little bit more sculpted. I was also using a cream blush as well while I was away. This is by Kiko. This is their Rebel Bouncy Blush in the shade Velvety Peach. And you can see the shade is this really nice, warm, neutral colour, which is absolutely perfect for minimal summer makeup. But I just found this really easy to wear. I took two concealers with me and I'll try not to go on about them too much because they are the same concealers that I use in every single video on this channel. It's the 17 Stay Time Concealer in the shade Extra Fair and then the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in Fair One. I used a 17 one under my eyes and on areas of redness, and I used a Collection one on any spots. I talk about these all the time, so I won't go on about them. I also took a little sample of the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion with me, because this is obviously quite small, quite easy to pack. 
I'll be honest, I don't usually bother with eye primer when I'm travelling. It's just something that I miss out because I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow when I'm travelling either. But just in case I did want to use some, I've got this really small one ready to take with me. Little samples like this are obviously very good to travel with because of their size, so if you do have any samples, then definitely take them on holiday. And then to set everything in place, I have this MUA transparent setting powder. You can see that the writing is actually worn off on there now, and I've definitely hit pan on the powder itself because I use this all the time. This is definitely a mattifying powder, of course it is transparent so it's not going to affect the colour of your makeup. This is very mattifying and it's great for on the go touch ups as well because it does have a little mirror in here too. I also took a powder bronzer with me, this is by Maybelline, this is their Face Studio Bronze Brick in the shade Blondes. This is a really nice bronzer for pale people, it's quite light, it's very matte, it's buildable so you can't really go too overboard with it, but it's also got this nice little brick of colours here, so there's gold and there's pinks in there, and I thought that that could kind of double up and have some eyeshadow options or maybe use that as kind of a pinky sort of blush if I wanted to. My highlighter did get a bit battered because I've been taking this everywhere with me. This is the Technic Get Gorgeous highlighter and unfortunately the lid has snapped off now because I just I take this everywhere. So that's a shame, the packaging obviously isn't that sturdy but the product itself is actually beautiful. You can wear this quite sheer with a stippling brush and just get a really subtle glow or you can really build this up and get something very intense. I actually wore this as eyeshadow quite a lot while I was in Belgium. It's a shame about the packaging but the product itself I think was less than £3 so obviously the packaging was never going to be great for that price. I did bring an eyeshadow palette with me as well. I actually bought the I Heart Makeup Salted Caramel Chocolate Bar Palette. This was a really nice palette to wear on holiday because it's neutral, so it's fairly easy to create a look with this, but it's also quite warm toned, which I just think works really well in the warmer months. I think picking an eyeshadow palette to take was quite hard because I have so many, but ironically enough, I actually didn't use this a lot. There were quite a few days where I just wore bronzer and a bit of my highlighter on my eyes actually and I didn't reach for any of the shades in here at all but I did use this for the mirror so I always bring an eyeshadow palette with me even though I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow when I'm out and about. If you do want to do something a little bit more creative with your eyes I'd highly recommend packing one of these in your travel makeup bag. So this is the Glam Liner by NYX and this is in the shade 07. This is basically a gold glitter liquid eyeliner and it's as beautiful as it sounds. I absolutely love this. It's probably the easiest and quickest way to step up your makeup when you're on the go. Eyeliner is probably the easiest and quickest way to step up your makeup when you're on the go. It can completely change your look. And the great thing about this glitter one is that it's actually quite multi-purpose. So you can just wear this like you would a regular black or brown eyeliner and do a little wing with it. And that looks really beautiful. I've done that with this quite a few times. Or you can actually put some bronzer on in the crease and then put this all over the mobile lid. I actually did that quite recently when my friend was having her birthday party. I just wore this all over my lid instead of shadow and I absolutely loved how it looked. And I really recommend taking this with you because it's such an easy way to transform your look while you're away. Especially if you're like me and you hardly ever wear actual eyeliner. For eyebrows again, it's the same two products that I talk about in every single video that I make. It's the Rimmel Professional Brow Pencil in the shade Hazel and also the W7 Queen of Brows in the shade Light Medium. If you're having a really minimal makeup day, you might even be able to get away with just using one of these. I personally need them both because my eyebrows are basically non-existent. And then for mascara, I bet no one is surprised about this. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I think I need to get a new tube of this now as it's looking a little worse for wear. But this is my favourite mascara of all time. And finally, we're on to lip products. Uh, I only bought two products to Belgium with me and usually when I'm staying overnight at a friend's house or my boyfriend's, I only pack two lip products then as well. So the first one is this Nivea lip balm. This is just your standard lip balm. There's really nothing special about it. 
but most of the time when I'm traveling, when I don't have my full makeup kit, when I'm just going for something very minimal, this is all I'll wear, just a standard lip balm. But on days when I do want a little bit of color, I will use this. This is by Revlon. I don't know the exact name because I've had this for a really long time and it's rubbed off by now. But I think this is called the Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain or something. So I can just dab this on quite sheer on days when I don't want a huge amount of colour. But if there is some special event and I want to wear something a bit more dramatic, I can actually build this up fairly easily as well. So for that reason I find this quite versatile. And that's everything, that's everything I take in my travel makeup bag. For me that's quite minimal, I know for a lot of people that might not be minimal, you might think that that's still quite a lot of products, I might have more products in my travel makeup bag than you own in your entire makeup collection, that's cool. Or you might think that this isn't that many products to take at all, you might want to take more things with you, that's absolutely fine. It's just what I like to pack personally, everyone's different. Let me know in the comment section below if you take quite a lot of products with you or if you travel fairly light. Let me know what sort of look you like to wear when you're on holiday and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching this and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!